BBC Radio London. Robert Elms on London's radio station. Weekdays and Saturday mornings from 10. Robert Elms. BBC Radio London. Good morning, London. I'm Robert Elms. Blimey, Lord Love a Duck. And all that malarkey. Been talking accents with Vanessa. Jason Solomons is coming in, not to talk about accents, but to talk about movies. Including the 20 greatest Jewish films of all time. I kid you not. Then we're going to be joined by Parker Sawyers, who plays Barack Obama in a new film called Southside With You. <music> Leslie Ann Jones will be here because she's written a book called David Bowie Hero. <music> and I'm not going to argue with that. I'm certainly not going to argue with Leslie Ann Jones. <laughs> I suspect we'll play our Bowie tune of the day during that section. And all I'll say is, it's a crash course for the Ravers. Then we're going to have some live music from the brilliant Simandi. One of the all-time great Brit funk bands. Sort of Afro-Caribbean Brit funk bands. Carry on. Or as one of my, uh, as Rissy says on Twitter, turn it in. <laughs> turn it in is the same as leave it out, essentially. Leave it out, turn it in. Um, are both almost identical in meaning, and I know exactly. He says, my mate drove me mad with that phrase, turn it in. Don't hear it anymore. So we're talking about expressions, old London phrases and, and terms of phrase <coughs> that you don't hear anymore. Because um, Eddie says, oh, he knocks him into a cocked hat. You don't hear that anymore. I don't even know what that would mean, really. I presume a cocked hat is like a cockaded it i don't know so um let's let's see what you got frank is on the line hello frank <coughs> oh yeah hi robert morning um my one that i noticed uh or re realized a couple of weeks ago but missed the slot to put it in was uh you don't hear anymore uh and i fetched him a faulty one <laughs> what you mean like a punch yeah clip round the ear kind uh, of yeah thing. it's sort of exactly uh, it I would be my, my image of it is someone like Arthur Rasky using it as a bus conductor. Because you see, my mother would say, my mother, Faulkner's must have been quite important, because my mum would say, I'll give you a Faulkner one, my boy, um, yeah, which meant well, I'll give you a clip round the ear. Yeah, that's, that, that's <coughs> exactly the same thing. It's just that I, I, I heard it used, uh, and we d with a lot of these, I don't know, you call them idioms or something? Yeah. Uh, they, they don't stand up literally. Um I, if I can give you a quick example, uh, and it's often foreigners that expose it. Some years ago, my foreign girlfriend said to me, um, uh, you're angry on me. <laughs> and I, 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 it, you know, it didn't make sense because I've always thought it's angry with At me. me. Or with me, with me, yeah, angry with me. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Exactly. Well, well, with is a contradiction. It would mean that you were simultaneously <laughs> angry. <laughs> but, you know, they, they, they pass in and we know... They're, they're in the lingo, uh, and we all know what they mean. The other one, if I could do a quick one, is that, that thing about accents changing. I don't think it, it, it is changing. There was an influence from the West Indies a few years ago. Uh, it affected all, all white kids and all that. But um, a bigger one is, is, is words that are coming in uh, are now standard, like movies instead of films, whereas we once said flicks. Yeah. Going to the flicks, going to the pictures, we used to say, mainly. But movies, is, I use the word movies, which is essentially American, I think. But no, you're yeah. right. Things change, Frank. Talk to Rennie in Camberwell. Hello, Rennie. Rennie. Hello, hello Rennie. Sorry, Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. God, it's, it's bringing me all back. All, all manner of threats in the most arcane, <laughs> sort of, like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> like... I'll knock you into next week, so I will. 
<laughs> was this your dad? Would your dad say that? My dad, my dad would, but my mum particularly. Yep. From Garrett Lane, she was from, and then she'd go, "I don't give a tinker's cuss." Yep, tinker's cuss, definitely gone. Or Jesus wet. Yep. Guts, like, guts for garters. You were saying. Yes, yes, yes. I, I love your guts for garters, so I will. <laughs> <laughs> And if you were dirty, were you black as Nougat's knocker? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. As Nougat's knocker. Nougat's knocker. You're as black as Nougat's knocker, they'd yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> the, the most arcane one, which I've never, ever heard anyone, I've got two, actually. One was where you come in from school completely, you know, caked with mud and yeah. hair like a bush. You look like a birch broom in a fit, girl. No, nah, I've never heard that one. A, that... a birch broom in, in a, a fit. fit. No, nope, that's a new one on me, really. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Let's um, <coughs> let's take Kevin in Pearly. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Robert. Right yeah, then. The one for me is all the sort of things like you know, with money. You, you don't hear people saying, "I give us a cut of bob," give, you know, uh, give, "Lend us a cut of knicker." But, uh, you just don't hear it anymore. Even down to like the derogatory one. I see him over there. He's two bob. Yeah, he's two bob. He is. I will. So, st- I, I, someone shouted that funnily enough at football the other week, and it made me chuckle. Someone said, like, uh, what Jimmy Floyd had to bank on, <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, we, but you've got some, a bloke, Nick, you know, just up the road from me, and said, Oh, God, blimey, that new player, he's too Bob. <laughs> and, uh, and it uh, did make me laugh, I have yeah, to say. It might have been the first time in years, but yeah, you know, there was all those money to trust. I mean, my family were all builders. Yeah. So I grew up with my granddad and my dad and my uncles all sitting behind Because I still bags. call every now and then, particularly with oh, cab yeah. drivers, I'll still uh, occasionally call 50p 10 Bob. Just because you know they're going to get it. But, you see, it's it's all since the new money. They've all gone out, haven't they, Kevin? Yeah, I don't know. My family's still sort of talking about the old, you know, the, the, the bottled carpets and, and yeah. all that for a long time. But, I, I, you know, a pound is still a pound, isn't it? A pound is definitely still... But it's rarely a quid. And it's almost yeah. never a knicker. Never a knicker. No, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not. Let's talk to Maureen in Plasto. Hello, Maureen. Hello. Oh, I haven't stopped laughing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It's brought back all old memories. Hold on, I've got an echo because the uh, wireless turn is Turn your off. wireless off. Yeah, turn it off, Fred. Fred's come up with a couple that he says, and the grand... Wait a minute, the grandchildren are in fits. They all repeat... They repeat this now. He always says, stone the crow. <laughs> yeah. And the other one was... Um, Dummy up like a kipper. Yeah, well, we used to have two in our family. Dummy me up like a kipper or dummy me up like an old pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Now, my mum was born in Deptford, right? right? So, Deptford, I believe, if you're in the sound of Bow Bells, you've yep. got a true cock. Now. Yeah, I'm sure. And yet, my mother never spoke like a all gall blimey one. You see, mine did, but and my mum was born. Bo- did, he, her mother, that we were brought up with in the same house. God, she knew every word, you know, under the sun, including all the swear words. Yeah. And my mother used to stop her from swearing. But um, she had all these sayings, and most of the people that's been on this morning have come out with them all. But I love your accent. It's lovely. It's a bit of a mixture of both, isn't it? It is a bit, I guess. Yeah. My, my and I love listening to Vanessa. She's got a beautiful voice. Oh, she, isn't she? she's proper posh. And she makes me laugh <laughs> when she takes off the cockney. <laughs> <laughs> Maury, lovely to talk to you. So many coming in here now. Um, Adam says, whatever happened to bombing off? He says, as kids, we were always bombing off somewhere. But you can't say it anymore. Maybe it's not safe in these times of terrorism, he said. Yeah, that's right. Though. I'm just bombing off at the shops, you would say. That's absolutely true. Um, my mates say, I'm always saying, says Adrian. Boy, leave it out. You're having a bubble. He says, don't ask me where I got it from. Well, that's easy. A, a laugh is a bubble, isn't it? But what is it? A bubble and... I've forgotten. I've forgotten with me Roman slang there. Um... We London Expressions, my mum, a hackney girl, called us all ducks. Love it. You see, I would say duck is northern. In fact, it's Nottinghamshire. She might have been hackney girl, but that's, eh, love a duck. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's, that's definitely northern. Um, so we're collecting old London expressions. Let's see what Julian in Bromley's got. Hello, Julian. Hello there, Robert. How are you doing? Very well indeed. Yeah, I can think of a few actually from my mum and dad. My dad was, um, he, he, was he came from a greengrocer family right. um, from Hackney in Islington. Yep. My mum was from Islington as well. And I live in Bromley now, but I still, still think of some of these. Like, In It Marvellous, eh? Yeah. In It Marvellous. <laughs> in It yes. Marvellous. Yeah, definitely. I'll do an Afghanit one, that one. Yeah. Uh, my mum used to say, Give over if um, 
if yeah. you were asking her for something, oh, you know, give over. Give over. Yeah. yeah. I can hear liberty. my mum saying that. Yeah, bloody liberty. I'll, I'll let you get away with that. Don't take liberties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you ask someone the time, you'd often get them, they'd often hear, it's five and 20 past five. Oh, always. It, at yeah. Five and 20 past or five and 22. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, that one was, was absolutely, my grandparents would always say it like that. Five and yeah, 20 exactly. past or five I and know, 22. No, you'd never hear that one anymore. No, you don't. Um, Dear O Law, now my maths teacher used to say that, and my Uncle Bill, um, but you don't hear that one anymore. I'm not sure that's a London one, though. Um, and yeah, you mentioned black as Newgate knocker. My mum explained that one to me. She said on Newgate Prison, there was a big black knocker on the front the door. Big, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. That's what it comes yeah. from. Well, I don't think yeah. my mum was yeah. ever in Newgate, but she still no, used right. it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and would your mum and dad call it Islington or Islington? Um, I, well, I, you know, my mum was one of those mothers who... Um, like to sort of um, do her best uh, not to use her accent. So, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, so well. She probably would have said Islington, um, oh. but uh, yeah. But if you add her after a couple of glasses of wine, she might have said Islington. Because <laughs> I said to Vanessa that I think Islington, Paddington, Kennington are actually the correct way to say it. You don't say Leicester. Certain words are pronounced in a certain fashion, and I think the correct, certainly London pronunciation,